All right, everyone, welcome. We're going to look at something that's very important, very important. If, you, if you're interested at all in doing due diligence, because I'm not going to tell you that you should buy this, right? It's your money. You work hard for it. You have family or you don't. Whatever you have, you got to take care of yourself, right? So I'm giving you a, an idea. And if you want, you can do, do, do your due diligence in it and see if it's the right fit for you if you want to invest in this or not. This is a stock that I talked about on my Patreon channel, right? And let's look at that real quick when, when I talked about it then. They do gold mining, lithium ion, PGM metals, which is very important, uh, all sorts of things. And they are really, really one of the best comp mining companies in the world. Right now, this is the one-year chart you're looking at, 1876, beautiful one-year chart. And all right, so as you can see, I talked about it on my Patreon channel, right? And it has fallen since then at 1660. Not actually, not really. Uh, since I had talked about it, with the if you see the green arrow is where I talked about it, right? And that's when I mentioned on my Patreon channel. It since went on, since then it went on twice to go higher at 21 bucks, right? twice two times and it went the first time up and you know if, if we wanted to sell we could have sold then now 21 wasn't the price target that i wanted to sell right i wasn't gonna sell three bucks later uh so i waited and I did, and then it ended up going downwards right and then we entered 2022 and it starts going all the way up hitting 21 bucks again and now it's 1660. so in 2022 again well, we see a lot of momentum with this company but overall this is the five-year chart if you're just looking at the added as a long-term view, right, a five-year chart, it's amazing. It's really awesome, right? If you invested five years ago and, and you're still holding, you're up 170%. Five years from now, you'd still be up, in my opinion. This company is going to go higher as a stock price and so on, especially right now. Think about it. Commodities, uh, gold, metals, precious metals from here on. This company doesn't uh, mine just gold. They mine, uh, they, first of all, they recycle components for lithium-ion. Um, which is very important. They mine a lot of gold. They mine platinum, nickel, copper. All these things are very important, and they're going to get more important within the years. So, I mean, look at and if you want to think about it, just think about it, right? With geopolitics, tensions, Russia, Ukraine war, and even when that war is over with, right? You think everything's going to go nice and rosy between the United States and Russia? Probably not. I think there's going to be more antagonism between those two countries. When, when, when nations are uh, sort of like a Cold War state, let's say, what happens? They start piling up each, each country. And then, and then the rest of the countries do the same, right? Slowly, they start piling for themselves grains or whatever, trying to get ready for something that might or might not happen. Uh, let's wish nothing happens. But uh, Sibanya Stillwater produces what the world needs now more than ever. And also, forget wars. What about electric vehicles? The future of electrification and green energies and all that. Don't they need copper? They need copper. Don't they need various types of precious metals? Some of them, yeah, for sure, platinum. And so they, this company is very important. So five years down the road, another good investment in my opinion. Super excited about this. And don't forget, everyone, to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want, uh, where, where I offer uh, stocks that will help our portfolio grow. Uh, if you want free stocks, free stocks, you can get free stocks with my Weibo link in the comment section below or in the description of the video. Click on it, sign up to Weibo, start trading, and you can get up to four free stocks. So like I said, we talked about it on my Patreon channel, and we did have two times if we wanted to do get out with profits. But I say, in my personal opinion, that I stay, right? Now, let's look at this company a little more. If you want to invest or if you want to also hedge against fiat currency uh, that's not stable, which right now is what we're living at, then you invest in precious metals. You invest in gold, right? Another great pure gold stocks, right? This is for pure gold mining and nothing else is Berry Gold GOLD, Yamana Gold AUI uh, or AYU, I forget. But if you want to get a way better diversification in precious metals, there's no better company than this. This is an awesome company. Now, Sibanya Stillwater offers investors indirect exposure to platinum, a stellar 8% yield, and a decent growth outlook. So you get an 8% yield, which is awesome, right? It currently has an extremely attractive price to cash flow ratio of merely 5.6 times and a PE ratio of only 5.3 times, right? Most companies at that level in their industry um, they're struggling and they remain afloat, right? And are facing negative sales and earnings and growth uh, and, and, and negative earnings and growth trends, right? But Sibania, on the other hand, 
is doing exactly the opposite and is doing very awesome. The revenue. Let's look at the revenue real quick because it's just it's 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 insane. It's awesome. All right, it's awesome. You get my excitement. Am I excited enough? Let me know. Um, when I see revenues like that, there's nothing better. You just put your money there and just like put my money. Not you, but I put my money in this stock and that's it. I don't stress. I don't care. I don't I don't care if I bought it at 20 and then it goes to 16. I could care less. I don't stress about that because I'm not looking to. What am I? I'm not buying it for the next month. I'm not buying it for the next six months. I'm not buying it for the next year. I'm buying this for five years. I know I'm gonna win with this stock. Uh, in 2013, the revenue was 19.3 billion dollars, which was a 16.7 percent increase from that of 2012. And again, every year it increases. 2014, 12.6 percent increase in revenue. 2015, 4 percent increase. 2016, 37 percent increase. In 2017, 46% increase. 2018, 10% increase, and blah, blah, blah. And it goes to 19, uh, 2019, 2020. 2020 had a 74% increase at $127.3 million, which is insane, right? So as far as revenue is concerned, the company is awesome. Now, some other things that I want to let you know is Global Pressures Metals and Minerals, company Sibani uh, Steel Water Limited produces gold, platinum, palladium, rhodium, iridium, uh, new uh, ruthenium, if I pronounce that right, or I killed it, Nickel, copper, and chrome, all those things. They have mining operations for all those things. And they have mining operations not just in South Africa where they get they do a ton of precious metals uh, in, all, in Africa there, but they also do in uh, South America and also in Montana in the United States. Stock, in my opinion, is a strong buy. 11 analysts are giving it a strong buy. But that's okay. You don't need to listen to analysts. Do your own due diligence. Sibani Stillwater stands to increase business given the geopolitical winds affecting mining in other parts of the world. It does. From here on, I think at 16 years dollars, somebody invests in it, they're going to end the, two, the end of they're going to end the year of 2022 with profits. Sibani Stillwater has a forward P ratio of 5.07 times like I said, about 64% below the sector average. This has to be the most undervalued mining company in the world. The most undervalued, and that says a lot about where this stock is going to be headed. Awesome, awesome investment in my opinion. For me, I can't tell you for you. The company is seeing year-over-year -year revenue growth of 55.47% and forward operating cash flow growth of 71.8%. And also as outlined in their 2021 Q2 earnings results, diversification and investment into recycling with the lithium ion that I said earlier have been a key drivers for this company's growth. So they're not a single commodity business. They're a multi-commodity business. And that's way better, right? That's way better. That's that's like having an ETF in a stock and kind of. An ETF in a company. This company is like its own ETF. You know what I mean? You're not investing in a company that's just gold. You're investing in a company that has is mining all sorts of things like I mentioned earlier, right? Now let me tell you something real quick from the, what the CEO said. By focusing on safe production and operational excellence, and they do have safe uh, production, they're the... One of the few mining companies that has the least, the least amount of casualties and uh, accident related with their workers. So by focusing on safe production, operation excellence, and having made the moves that we did make into commodities at a point in the cycle that was very beneficial to our shareholders, resulted in record uh, full year profit of $2.23 billion for 2021. Profit, $2.23 billion. So profitability for this company is strong. Do you like that? I mean, don't you like that? Profitability is strong, which is amazing. Uh, cash from operations is a whopping $1.82 billion. And current leverage FCF margins stand at 13.45%. So with a recent purchase of two South African mines, which they did, 50% uh, stake, the company wants to increase its footprint in South Africa. If we look at a risk factor for this stock, it remains the workers. Recently, about a month ago, the workers had, um, they went on a temporary strike. They demanded higher pay, higher wages. So if we look at the union updates, just real general, it says Sibanye and two South African labor unions have agreed that the mining company will only increase its monthly workers' wages by $48 instead of 1,000 Rand. The unions that have agreed to the matter are uh, Solidarity uh, and US, UASA. Generally speaking, the mentioned unions have conflicting interests, so it's likely that the mine workers and Sibania will soon reach a final agreement. They haven't reached a final agreement yet. That's like one of the biggest risks that uh, risk. I mean, it's not going to bring down the company, but 
uh, it's just something that actually created this uh, if you can see down if you can see the the end of this chart right you can see that it was going up to 21 and then now it dropped drop drop all the way to 16 that drop from 21 to 16 had to do be had to do because of that the workers and the strikes and so on which is kind of you know uh, for the investor part for the investor part it's kind of dumb why would you sell off what are you what are you afraid of that the company is gonna go uh, bankrupt that's so dumb they're not they'll, they'll solve this and they'll get back up so it was I don't know whatever I wouldn't have sold I would have just held to be honest so that's that um, real quick I don't want to continue anymore so I don't bore you to death but I think that this company is amazing if you want to join us on patreon you can link will be in the comment section below thank you very much for watching this video let me know in the comment sections below what you think about this stock and I wish you all the best take care